Well, the new warning is for that southwest system uh, moving through Morris. I don't know if you heard till 915. So we have both of those particular warnings in play. But Cheryl was showing me that uh, these particular systems, if you put them in motion... Okay, take it, Cheryl. Well, we would... We're talking about the severe warnings now in place for parts of uh, eastern Cook County here, but taking uh, these storms right here are located about 30 to 40 miles from downtown Chicago. And we've been talking about how fast these storms have been traveling at about 40 to 50 to even 60 miles an hour. So these are going to be rolling through here within the next 40 minutes. So you have to be alert for these. And again, the worst, the most severe threat will be heavy rains, the potential for hail here. But this is a newly issued severe thunderstorm warning. This outlined box here through Joliet, parts of Will County into almost the Oak Lawn area. So a highly populated area, obviously travel not advised. Jerry just put on the hail track. So hail has been reported with this storm system off to the south and west. You can see just around the Morris area, perhaps some nickel to quarter size hail with the storm system. So that will be continuing threat as it travels through Will County. And you can see it's close right along that I-80 corridor. So if you live in this area be alert for that and we always say when there's a potential for hail with these storms if you have your car outside and you can move it into a garage if you can protect anything outside you can bring it inside fast but we don't want you outside with this storm rolling through but this will be heading close to the Joliet area now and you can just see the deep red color here so intense rains expected with this frequent lightning rumbles of thunder and we are anticipating this to continue to work its way closer to the downtown Chicago area but the good news Jerry is that there are no tornado warnings on the map right now. Just a few severe thunderstorm warnings that we have to get through. And really, we're going to be out of the thick of this in the next hour to about an hour and a half. So things will start to quiet down. But until then, we're going to continue to monitor this storm cell for you. That thread in for the next hour to two hours. But this is the final line of shower and storm activity. So still a few severe thunderstorm warnings, mainly off to the southwest of Chicago. But those storms will continue to inch closer and closer here over the next 45 minutes. We had some pretty heavy thunderstorms. And and now this evening, so it's kind of like we had four waves of yeah. showers and thunderstorms move through before this cold front eventually uh, moves through. A dynamic system, the warm front brought the storms earlier today right. that lifted north, brought us in the moist, stable air. The cold front crashes in, and, and here we get those potentially dangerous storms, and that's what we saw, especially out towards the Rochelle area, so hopefully no injuries. Guys, we're, what we're, we're looking at now, what, so 10-15, 10-30, 10-45? Until they completely move out, we are under that severe threat and severe thunderstorm warnings. We have wind gusts over 58 miles an hour, the potential for quarter hail. size hail or larger. So those are the main threats. Thankfully, no rotation. We do not have any tornado warnings issued at this time, but this is a, a highly populated area. Also, the good news is that everyone's home and they're watching us and they're staying safe, travel not advised, and heavy rain, localized flooding, a potential with these storms pushing in. And everybody has a smartphone. My wife was one of the last ones that had the flip phone. Mm -hmm. And when she broke it, she couldn't get another flip phone. So now she has an iPhone. So everybody's got a smartphone. And watching and, all of your tweets come in right now. So right. we thank you for your reports, just staying safe right. doing that. And we have an app. Right. And the app gives you the warnings and watches as they're issued. So no matter where you are, the app goes off, you hear it. So you really don't have any excuse. And if you take a look at radar now, you actually get the information as fast as we get the information. Right. It's not like we get the information and then send it out to you. I mean, you get it the same, same time that we get it. And it's kind of interesting too, because now we can use hail tracks and hail tracks give you a pretty good indication of how these storms go. And so we might have a, uh, 12 tornado reports, but if you actually took a look at the hail tracks. They're in the Weather Center. Jerry and Cheryl.